Good evening and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and tonight I shall be doing Salt. This is a Huckerback New England IPA at a nice 5.5%. Um, picked this up from Priestown Brewing in Preston for £3, uh, which is relatively cheap. Um, not much guff on this can at all except a quick definition of uh, Huckerback. It's a strong linen cotton fabric with a rough surface for toweling and glass cloths. It also says a golden, juicy, hazy New England IPA, aggressively hot and intensely fruity. Um, and then the guff on the back is just who salt are, where they're from, all that stuff. Salt cans are, if you don't know, textured. They're each hexagon, it feels like a hexagon. It's it's just all gorgeous. So without further ado, let's crack it open and see what we've got. I'm also really liking the black can with the uh, the red on. It helps it stand out a bit more, I think. Right. So there we have. Uh, the beer. Um, got ourselves a straw yellow, no not straw yellow, um, off yellow colour. Uh, no floaters, nice compact white head. It's looking lovely. It's looking a pretty standard New England IPA. Um, let's get the nose and see what we can smell. Mangoes, passion fruit, grapefruit. I'm pretty sure the citra hops in there somewhere. Let's have a look. It does not say, but if you've got citrus smells, it tends to be the citra hop. And I don't know why, but I'm getting oats, like an um, an oaty smell as well. It smells lovely. Let's get a mouthful for the bullying car. Carbonation nice and light. Body's medium. It it's a nice balance. You get a little bit of carbonation but the body's juicy and thick enough to sort of mellow it out. It's quite nice though. Um let's get a Big mouthful for the taste. Cheers. Oh, I'm gonna have to get another one. Hold on. Oh, that's good. It starts off with your mangoes, passion fruit, grapefruit, orange zest, peel sort of stuff, which is really nice. And the citra hops, again, probably the citrus flavours that I'm getting. And then you've got, um, after that sort of dissipates and goes away, you've got the sort of oaty flavour. What I said in the smell is there in flavour. It's like, oh, it's not porridge, but it's it's like an oaty, the thing that it has, that flavour. And then that goes away and leaves it with a nice dry, bitter finish that is very good. Very good. Oh, salt are very good for just all round beers. Strong, weak, any and they can they seem to be able to pull it off really well. Um this is this is no exception. Um Yeah, this is no exception. This is a fantastic little beer. My only uh crit critique, yeah. My only critique would be bigger can. Come on, four forty is easily. That's that would be that would be really nice in a four forty can. Nice full glass of that. Summer's day. That's what it is. It's a juicy, juicy beer. Right. So that'll do the review because I'm gonna go and enjoy this elsewhere. Um, Salt Huckerback New England IPA. Um, it is a very good beer. For £3, I say that's a steal, easily. 
like I say, I just wish it was a bigger can. And I wouldn't mind paying a little bit more for a bigger can. Um, if you've had this before, let me know. Let me know what you think. If you've not had it, um, definitely recommend picking one up. I'll leave the Salt website down below if you're not in the Preston area. If you're in the Preston area, pardon me. Pick one up from Priestown because there's there's loads. Um, pardon me. If you like the video, thumbs up, down, all that malarkey. Um, if you want to subscribe, consider doing so. Um, but yeah, stick around because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth. And I'll see you later. Bye.